side say that the jury is back in the room, that Judge Merchan is back on the bench. And so um, we are looking now, it looks like we have some of the verdicts coming in. It is quickly coming in here. From inside, we, we are starting so to hear that there are guilty. Uh, there are guilty verdicts um, from our producer inside. We are hearing guilty on one through five. One through 12, we have now 13, 14 guilty. 15 guilty. You may hear there are a split of folks here who have been protesting on both sides of this case. Uh, some cheer, some boos, as we are now getting the information uh, from the jury. We are up to 18 counts, 19 guilty. Remember, we have 34 here, 20 guilty. And again, these counts were very similar, what they were looking at. It was different occurrences, essentially, of the same crime, a misdemeanor that was elevated uh, by being linked to a felony, uh, to an underlying crime. We are now 24 counts in, all guilty from inside. This is what we are hearing from our producers, up to 26 guilty. Now, remember, each of these counts could maximum have four years in jail. Um, President Trump would be considered a first-time offender. These are nonviolent crimes. Uh, so it seems that it is unlikely the judge would sentence him to prison, but we are now up to 31 counts guilty out of 34. 32 guilty also coming in from inside the courtroom. Our producers now saying 33 and 34. They're saying guilty on all 34 charges. Um, that is where we are at. Uh, the, the jurors, it looks like we're going to leave for the day. Suddenly we get this verdict. It is 34 guilty counts on all of this. I want to bring in uh, Andy McCarthy, who's here with me, Judge Janine as well, and Trey Gowdy. Um, Andy, where we go from here, obviously there will automatically be an appeal from this Trump team as quickly as possible. Um, there's the legal issue of sentencing to come. That's going to take maybe months to get to a, a pretrial report on this and then to a sentencing by the judge. And he reminded the jurors he's the one who decides. Um, but we have the reality now of a former president for the first time being convicted on 34 criminal counts, guilty on all of these counts, whatever conflict or confusion or questions the jury had. They got that information back to them this morning. And by the end of day two of deliberations, we're at 34 guilty counts for the former president of the United States. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.